Today I'm going to share with you about how to put your database in, its, in the most effective multi-user mode that you possibly can. See, part of the problem with an access database is that it, you can use it in multi-user mode, but you have to use it in such a way that ev when everybody do uses it, it affects the same data so that all the data is captured in the same place. You can leave it all in the same database and you can put that out on the server and you can be able to let people access that and use it straight from the server. But the server has some capability issues, especially if it's only a file server, you're gonna struggle with uh, performance issues there. And the second thing is because you have a, a capacity problem with your network that means that when you've got like workstation A, B, and C showing here, and you've got these three workstations and they're all going after this same access database, all of the data and all of the processing has to go through the network cables, all the way through the network cables to each individual database user and back. So if you get three, four, five, six people hitting the same database, you're going to end up with a situation where you've got a lot of traffic on the network and that traffic of course causes slowdowns and bottlenecks. So what we would suggest is that you have a front end database and put the back end only on the server. And by doing so, you are able then to decrease the amount of network traffic. So up here, the wide lines are to represent the network traffic being uh, bigger, more, uh, more traffic. And you get the smaller lines down here indicating that the processing is actually done in the front end. So all your queries, your forms, uh, your macros, all of the functioning of the database is in the front end, while your data then resides in a back end database. Now, if your server is also equip equipped with Microsoft Access, it can then be able to be run by Microsoft Access on the back end, and it's even faster. So if you can use an actual computer as a server rather than a NAS or a file server, um, so much the better. Now, I've, I've been forced to use it as a, uh, on a file server uh, because I don't have access to a full uh, computer that has access on it in certain situations and it, it, you take a big hit as far as performance. So you really want to have it on a server that has access on the server and has a full operating system on a server to, to uh, perform uh, your access queries on the server. So let me go ahead and bring up uh, the database and I'll show you um, a simple easy way to split the database and be able to make this happen. Now You'll notice that I have a bunch of tables here and I have a, uh, a regular form here. And then when I open it up, it's, it's the, the database that I've been using through most of my examples uh, of the cars and all the listing of vehicles that you have along with pictures. So all the data resides up here in these tables and I want the users to be able to update the data as sales are made. Uh, but I don't want all of this processing done here, the forms, the queries, the reports to, to encumber the network traffic as it goes back and forth. So what you can do then is close your form here and you can go over here to database tools. And in database tools, you have access database here in the move data icon. If you click on that, you immediately get a dialog box that brings you up to the database splitter wizard. And the database splitter wizard is so simple to use, it's incredible. You click here. Once you click there, it's asking you where you're gonna put the back end. It puts a underscore BE for back end uh, at the end of your database. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my YouTube videos and video scripts, and I am doing a script on splitting the database. So I'm gonna put the back end along with the front end in this case, and I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to split. And database successfully split. Now, when I click OK, what you'll notice is all of these tables have now, all of these tables have now changed from a native table inside this 
container to a linked table that we've just learned about recently and points to that linked table just as it did in the native form. So if I open up my products, it comes up the same way. It's pointed to the same data. And now I can give this front end to multiple people and it'll point to that back end data. And everybody, as long as they've got access to the location where the back end is placed, they'll be able to access that data. And I've created a multi-user uh, database with a back end on a server and ready to be used as a front end, back end situation, a two tiered uh, database. So hope you've enjoyed this video. Please hit the subscribe button, help me grow the channel and hope to see you again later. Thank you much.